Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 70. Before we get started off, oh, that looks good in the distance. Before we get started, apologies if I sound a little raspy. I did lose my voice uh, a little bit over the over the weekend, but I think I should be good. I think my voice feels worse than it sounds. I don't think it's too bad, but let's go look at some of the stuff that we've done. I've already done quite a bit of work, and I've got even more work to do. So we've been working on the wall, and we're now I'm working on the gatehouses. So there's a gatehouse here. There's going to be a gatehouse here, and this is ideally going to be the main entrance of the city. I'm not sure what I can do to make it even more main than that one. Um, and there's going to be a gatehouse here. Um, maybe over there. So there, there's going to be like at least four around possibly more not entirely sure right now but uh, i've been working on the walls more as you can see i i started working on this side of the wall um this is the opposite side of the wall so we're looking at the inside right here uh it's honestly a little surprisingly tough to get these walls to match up uh with height and where exactly all the blocks should be relative to that side but I've started on this. Now, th this isn't even really close to done, but um, I've started working in mossy uh, brick and cracked stone brick just along the bottom, just to add some interest and detail. Um, you know, a tip with the mossy brick, uh, put it in clumps. You know, I, I kind of like have a big section right here that's mossy. Over here, it's just kind of low down. Um, and then there's no bot moss here. Moss kind of grows all together, so don't have it like all over the place, just one block at a time. Use clumps. Um, and what else do I have to say about this? I, I think I made it clear that I want all the defenses in the city to be functioning. So I have my crenellations, I have my matriculations, I have a path, there's going to be a pathway here, and there's crenellations here. Uh, worked in some wood into the design. I'm not sure if this archway right here is final yet. Um, so, so we'll go through and then there will be, this will be like inside the gatehouse. So there will be a second arch just like that right here. I need to, uh, I need to build this. Um, and I don't know exactly how the insides of this is going to look like. A lot of this part is going to be covered up by wall. So, uh, I got to kind of connect the wall and see how it all is going to work out. But I started on this bridge here. The, uh, wow, my voice is really sounding raspy right now, I think. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, the bridge, I've got the top part of it done. Um, if we go over here and kind of show, I don't want this to be a really intricate bridge. I want this to be a really sturdy bridge. So I, th I had a decision to make when I made this gatehouse. Did I want to have two gates that lower up and down, or did I want this uh, gate for this out to be a drawbridge that comes up and down. Um, in the end, I decided against the drawbridge because of the size of this. Like, this would be one hell of a drawbridge. And that gatehouse isn't that large. Um, you could maybe pull it off. It won't be realistic to think that would go all the way up, but you could maybe think that would go part of the way up, and that would still prevent people from getting onto it. Um, but in the end, I decided to have a stone structure that's, uh, you know, really strong. Um, I did do one thing that, or didn't do one thing that I kind of learned about. Apparently it's fairly common practice to, uh, make your bridges wood. So if you need to, you can burn them down. Um, I didn't really think about that, but it's on an upward slope. So I'm going to have kind of a arch kind of like this, this side of the arch being higher up. It's, it's not going to be super intricate. Like, I have another bridge over at the farming village that's pretty detailed. Pretty detailed for the place it's in, because it's not, like, a super detailed area. Um, but I think this bridge is going to fit in really nicely. I want it to be large. I want it to accommodate high traffic. Um, th this is, for the most part, our color palette for streets. Um, it widens out at the bottom of it, and I think you get a really cool view when you're looking over here and you look through there and you can see that road. I think that's a really cool view. Hello, Discord. Um, 
other than that, I think, yeah, it's pretty much time for me to do some more work on these guard houses, or gate houses, rather, and uh, get some more work done on this bridge. So I just wanted to give you an update while I was in the middle of working on all of this. Um, so I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to work on it. All right. You guys win. I've, I've given myself up to the dark side and made a fishing farm. Uh, I haven't spent a whole lot of time at it. I'll probably spend more, I'll probably like leave it on overnight or something. Is that what people do? I don't know how long it takes really. I, I left it for like 10 minutes and this is what I got, you know, just some fish, um, book, more fish, uh, some whatever bows. And I am using, I believe that's like the ideal rod for um, treasure. But anyways, I've got quite a bit of work to do in perfect timing. Let's go sleep. Looks like my wheat's about ready to harvest as well. That's good because we need a lot of hay for for this city. Uh, where did I put my bed? Oh, right, we put it over here. Well, you guys will get a good sneak peek of what I've built as we run over this way. If it loads in, I really want to see it in the mist. Load in, stop telling me to craft wooden planks. Yeah, this, I, I wasn't sure. I've been streaming a lot lately. I wasn't sure if streaming was making rendering uh, really bad lately. But it seems to just be the uh, snapshot because this isn't normal. Um, in fact, this might even be worse than when I'm streaming. Hey, can I, my bed's somewhere around here. Can I get to it, please? I'm not really sure what to do. Look at all this. All these caves down here. Cheaty cheaty. Well, I think I'm losing some chunks, actually. I... Uh, okay. I guess I'm gonna reload. That seemed to fix the problem, at least for now. I don't know. But here's what we've done. It's not all the way finished. Let's get this stupid beacon out of our view. Um, I kind of want to go to it from the other side. And look through. Can I... I want to turn my render distance just a little bit. I I finished this bridge mostly. I think it's a really cool view. This this little window that we get right here. Um, I'll go over all the details I've done in a moment. I put quite a bit of thought into this, um, but I'll, let's start with the bridge. This is the most basic thing. So um, it's been a day since I started this recording this episode. I don't remember exactly what I said. Um, I wanted this bridge to be large enough to feel like a lot of traffic could pass through it. Um, so I made it seven wide, the walkway. Um, and I didn't want it to be super glamorous and, you know, detailed. So the arch itself is pretty basic. Um, it, you know, it's higher up on one end than the other because uh, it does have an incline. Uh, th that's just the scaffolding that I was using, um, but I like it. It's not meant to draw your attention too much. You're never going to see it from here, really, because um, most of the time if you're entering the city, theoretically, you would be up here. And there are some pretty cool uh, views that we've got already for this city. Like, uh, there's a little peninsula-type deal over here. And I think we get a pretty cool view of everything from over here. We can see the wall, the tower, the gatehouse, the bridge. But then uh, I really like the feeling that we get when we come over here. And we walk up to this. And, you know, it just gets bigger and bigger. Then all of a sudden, everything that's on the other side of the gatehouse slowly reveals itself to you. And then you're in the city. So pretty good. So what what's the first thing that we should discuss? Um, let's talk about the inside here. So the function of a gatehouse is that there are two gates. And so if, if somebody were sieging your city, let's say that they bust through this gate, they'd I'd, uh, theoretically be stuck at this gate if it were down. And while they're in here, you create a choke point with traps. So I've actually got three different traps set up um, 
and and, and I really thought this out. So so I'll just kind of show you. It's it's these little details I think make it really cool. So the first thing that I did was I added this little um, edge or this indent for the gate to drop in. I thought that was just a cool little detail. Um, arrow holes. You know, people on the other side shoot arrows through here if if enemies are all gathered up through here. There's some, uh, you know, like murder holes. Well, these are murder holes. So, and, and we'll go up there, but the idea is that if we're trapped in here, you can drop whatever you want, arrows, uh, oil and fire or boiling water, whatever, drop down from there. And then I made these drains. Uh, so if you did do that, the mess wouldn't be so bad to clean up. I know I'm kind of overthinking it, but these are drains. Um, up here are similar to murder holes. Um, I guess you could pour something through them, and I covered them up. These, I don't really know what these are, to be honest. Um, they just, I thought they looked all right. We can remove them probably, but I thought this was a very flat wall. I thought it just broke things up a little bit. Um, other than that, hello phone. Other than that, um, not much else going on on the inside. I really do like it though. So let's climb up there. I'd like the interior of this to be somewhat functional, but I need to put in the walls, connect the walls to the outsides. Uh, st still got a little bit of work to do here. So um, might say that for live stream work or something, but here's uh, the uh, crenellations that you hide behind. Um, and these, I meant to, I want to retexture these to look like I want them to be grittier, and I want them to be like more like grates, like sewage grates. So these will get retextured because um, right now they really stand out. <laughs> They're really clean, um, and you know you get your defenses here. So if somebody's at the front of the gate, I really like this bridge. It really looks cool, and you know there's crenellations up there, um, right here. Could have to work some things out with doors and stuff. One of the purposes of towers and gatehouses and stuff on walls is to separate other parts of walls. So if you're if you're uh, intruding and you're on the wall section over here, you can't just run over the wall section over here because there's a gatehouse in between you. It separates that. Um, let's fly up and get a let's get a quick look of everything that we've done. I can't wait to see this place in shaders. This is a really cool view, in my opinion. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I can't remember if I did this before I stopped recording the last time or not, but I did. Oh yeah, I talked about the mossy stone and stuff. Um, I wanted to do that all through the walls. That's going to be live stream work, um, probably. Uh... I think doing the entire wall is going to take a good bit of time, probably. It's just a little bit grindy work. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, um, I'm happy with the height that the guard towers are coming out to be over the walls. Everything seems pretty good. And, and this isn't going to be our only one. So right now it's like really standing out. But there's going to be another one right over there. Pretty much the exact same thing. We're just going to have to copy it. Um, and I'm, you know, that's just... Work that I'll have to do, because um, right now it's like, once this is all like a city, and you'll see that gatehouse poking through the sky, it'll look really cool. Uh, that stuff's like, it's going to be awesome, I think. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today. I got more work to do on the walls. Going <laughs> to have a lot of work to do on the walls for a good while. That's going to keep me busy for for a bit. Maybe next time we can work on the city. Maybe we can put in a house. We definitely need to work on the roads and city planning more. So I'm going to be harvesting sheep wool and try to figure all that out. Um, if you have any ideas, then tweet at me or leave a comment. I'll be sure to take them into consideration. So thanks for watching, everybody. And if you liked it, then please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Bye.